What's up everybody, Go Burns, welcoming you to another installment of my Discuss series. The premise is we bring up a Discuss topic and we discuss it, which is pretty obvious in the title. It can be about Grand Theft Auto Online, it can be about gaming in general, just about anything that I, R, you bring up. That's right, you can bring up topics for future Discuss episodes. All you have to do is either leave it below in the comments section, Tweet it my way, Facebook message me, or you can email me your discuss topic anytime, goburns at gmail.com. Now today we are discussing a lawsuit against Rockstar North. Yes, another lawsuit. First there was Lindsay Lohan. That one really doesn't really hold much water, but this one is a little bit more interesting. A former head of Rockstar North is suing Take-Two Interactive as well as Rockstar and Dan and Sam Hauser for $150 million. By the way, the article is linked below in the description section so you can go check it out for yourself. So Leslie Benzies, a former head of Rockstar North, the developers of Grand Theft Auto V and other previous GTA titles has accused Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar, and the Hauser brothers of withholding royalties. Benzies left Rockstar North in January of this year after being on sabbatical from September 1st, 2014. According to Polygon, Benzies is now suing Take-Two Interactive for $150 million, saying the company tried to force him out after his time off. Now here's a statement from Christopher Bakes, who is a partner at Lock Lord Law Firm, who is representing Leslie Benzies. This is what they had to say about this, quote unquote, while on sabbatical, Mr. Benzies discovered numerous deceptions on the part of Take-Two, Rockstar, Rockstar North Limited, Sam Hauser, and Dan Hauser, who sought to force him out of the company and terminate his portion of royalty payments based upon the arbitrary actions by the company's Royalty Allocation Committee, a committee that may or may not have actually met, quote unquote. Continuing, Benzies claims he tried to go back to work on April 1st, 2015. However, according to GameIndustry.biz, Bakes said, quote unquote, Mr. Benzies found himself unable to enter the Rockstar North office because his facility's access device had been deactivated, quote unquote. Once security let him inside, Benzies, quote unquote, was then ordered to leave by Rockstar North office manager without reason. Now, before we go over Rockstar's response, Here's a little bit of information about Leslie Benzies, in case you're curious. He is a Scottish video game developer and the former president of Rockstar North, a subsidiary of Rockstar Games. He was the lead developer of the iconic Grand Theft Auto series, taking responsibility from Grand Theft Auto 3 through Grand Theft Auto 5. Now here's a list of games he was a producer on. Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, Manhunt 2, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto Lost and Damned, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, Grand Theft Auto The Ballad of Gay Tony, Red Dead Redemption, L.A. Noir, Max Payne 3, and most recently, Grand Theft Auto 5. So no matter how you may feel about the lawsuit, one thing we cannot ignore is the important part that Leslie Benzies has played in the Grand Theft Auto series, as well as Rockstar and Take-Two since Grand Theft Auto 3 back in 2001, all the way up to present day with Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, here is the response from Rockstar, also linked in this IGN article in the description section. Quote, unquote, Leslie Benzies was a valued employee of our company for many years. Sadly, the events that accumulated in his resignation ultimately stem from his significant performance and conduct issues. Despite our repeated efforts to address and resolve these issues amicably, both before and after his departure, Leslie has chosen to take this route in an attempt to set aside contract terms to which he previously agreed to on many occasions. His claims are entirely without merit and in many instances downright bizarre. 
and we are very confident this matter will be resolved in our favor. A core ethos since Rockstar's inception has been the concept of, quote-unquote, the team. It is deeply disappointing and simply wrong for Leslie to attempt to take personal credit for what has always been a tremendous effort of the entire Rockstar staff, who remain hard at work delivering the most immersive and engaging entertainment experiences we can for our fans. And in conclusion, Rockstar stated that they will not intend to comment further on this issue. Now, the reality is we're probably never going to know why Leslie Benzies went on this sabbatical that lasted for roughly six months. Was it uh, health reasons? Personal reasons? Was there something else involved? But one thing we can gather from this unfortunate situation is that there has been a serious falling out between... Rockstar North, Take Two, The Hauser Brothers, and of course, Leslie Benzies. Now, in my Lindsay Lohan rant about a month or so back, one of the things I said at the end was, how dare she go after Rockstar and Take Two for money that they've made for Grand Theft Auto V, claiming that they used an image of her or her likeness in order to make a profit, which was ridiculous because the character she was based off of, Lacey Jonas, is a minor character in a side mission in Grand Theft Auto V. In my opinion back then, she deserved no credit, no financial reward, because the reason why Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online were so successful financially was because of the team at Rockstar North. The developers, the programmers, the testers, all the artists, Laszlo, because he's done a lot of work with the radio stations and production. He's not just some funny guy on the radio stations that you hear every now and then. Of course, he obviously played a big part in Grand Theft Auto V story, much bigger than Lacey Jonas, FYI. But the issue was that the reason why Grand Theft Auto V is a success and made millions and millions of dollars is not because of Lindsay Lohan. However, as I already pointed out, Leslie Benzies had a pretty big role in the Grand Theft Auto series since Grand Theft Auto 3 back in 2001. But at the same time, just like in Rockstar's response to this lawsuit, it's about the team. That's what Rockstar's always been about when it comes to their games, from the Grand Theft Auto series to Bully to Red Dead Redemption, Max Payne, Manhunt... Midnight Club, etc. Bear in mind, Leslie Benzies had a part to play in a lot of those games I just mentioned. But we're talking specifically about the royalties for Grand Theft Auto V. In your opinion, do you think that Leslie Benzies deserves that $150 million in royalty payments? Or do you side with Rockstar North and Take-Two Interactive, who claim that he had a contract which he had previously agreed to on multiple occasions. Who do you think is in the right, and who do you think is in the wrong? Now, obviously, we're probably not going to know all the information revolved around what happened during Leslie Benzie's uh, time off, his six-month sabbatical, why he went on leave for six months, what happened, what transpired to cause that event to take place, as well as other internal issues. We can't even find out about a new DLC from Rockstar until like a week before it comes out. That's how secretive they are. Now, if I was to venture a guess as to what is going to end up happening, possibly, probably, maybe, with my fake crystal ball, I believe that this issue will be settled outside of court quietly there'll be a settlement it won't be 150 million dollars but take two and rockstar north will give leslie benzies some money just so he can go away most likely not because he deserves the money but because this has potential to become a pr headache for rockstar games as well as take two interactive should this case actually go to trial 